in leadership, there are vital ingredients that are so very essential. David was called a great man of God, a man after God's heart. But his men were content to be called the mighty men of David. What is it that distinguished these men that made them to become mighty men of David? I'll be looking at five of them in this segment. And the story is told in 2 Samuel 23 from verse 14 to 17. Talking about the three greatest mighty men of David. And these are the five things that distinguish them. Number one, they were devoted. Number two, they were designing. Number three, they were men that were decisive. Number four, they were disciplined. And number five, they were men who denied self. They were men who were not selfish but selfless. And if you are ever going to become great in the hands of God, this five is so essential. Now look at it. They were so devoted to David and to the cause of David and the kingdom that David represented. Their devotion made them to go after the desire in the heart of David even when he didn't ask them. Their devotion made them to risk their life and everything for the cause of their king and the cause of his kingdom. What are you ready to sacrifice for the cause of the king? How devoted are you to the cause of the kingdom? And it was their devotion that made them to be designing they were able to design, it, design the heartbeat of the king. The king just expressed a desire. Oh, that one will get me the water that is by the well of Bethlehem. And these men designed that the king, even though unspoken, wanted them to go get the water. And they went out of that designing mind to get the water for their king. They were decisive. They were not men of indecision, but they were very decisive in their action. As soon as the king expressed his desire, they went forth. Are you a decisive man? Are you a decisive minister? Are you a decisive woman? It is better to decide and take an action and fail than to be indecisive and indifferent. These men were disciplined. They didn't break their ranks. They got the water and they fought through the garrison of the, of the Philistines and brought the water to their king. And when they brought the water, the king wouldn't drink it. He poured it away unto the Lord. And these men who were dead to self, they were not angry. They did not blame the king for wasting their efforts. Whatever the king does with what he has gotten, it doesn't matter what the king will do with what they have labored for. They are content to just labor for their king. My friends, if you will be such a man that will be willing to be called a mighty man after another mortar, then you are ready to be used of the Lord. These are ingredients that make leadership to work when the followers can be devoted Designing, decisive, disciplined, and they can deny self. I see you rising to the top and being used greatly of God. God bless you.